one page at a time. I, I figure out the big things I want to do, I break them into small pieces, and I do each of the pieces. I write from here to there. And uh, that's why most of my books have parts and not chapters. Uh, because I set up signposts. I go, this is where I want to get. These are the big steps to get there. These are the smaller pieces. And whether it's chapters or parts or paragraphs, you know, I lay it out. And uh, sometimes I dictate it. Sometimes I type it. And you make sure it all fits together. You give it a good read after I put it aside for a few days. And you may have to add a little piece. But uh, I, I don't spend a long time writing a book. My first book took me six months. And it was painful. And it's not that great a book. Uh, I find the shorter period of time, the more concise, the more my thoughts are focused, the more I can get done quickly. And uh, remember, if you don't say it perfectly, you can always rewrite it. And uh, the trick is to get the words on the paper and the ideas down, and then to take a pair of scissors and cut 60% of it out and flush it out. And uh, instead of worrying about what other people are going to think about it, uh, just worry about what you think about it and make sure it fulfills what it is you want. Uh, I had a good friend, Robert Anton Wilson, who was a science fiction writer, who sat down the same two hours every day and wrote a couple thousand words. Uh, on, you know, I have tremendous respect for him. I couldn't do it that way. For him, it worked because he was a professional writer. That's how he viewed himself. He wrote a magazine article one day and part of a book the next. And uh, he was prolific. He wrote 33 books and probably hundreds and hundreds of magazine articles. But he, to him, you know, he could switch from one thing to another. I'm very focused. I'm very good at doing one thing and getting all the way through it. But by the same token, I'll have seven or different projects going on at the same time. I'll be doing workshops. I'll be making CDs. And I, I keep it in a different place in the house. I write in this room. I record in this room. He did everything in the same room. And uh, he had it sorted out in his head probably better than I did. A uh, brilliant man and, uh, and a much better writer than I am. Uh, I've got a lot of good ideas, but sometimes I need somebody. I've had a writer, you know, editors come back and go, you say really important things, but it gives me a headache to read your writing. But, you know, once I read how they rewrite it, then the next time I do a better job. The trick is to be better than you were before. And if you're not improving, then you're stagnant. You're not adapting to your environment and responding to it and learning. And you can. <laughs>